Let's count down the top 5 rides at Watermouth Castle. Number 5 Aviator Ride. Starting off our list with a zoom we, and by we I mean any kids above 92cm, so sorry all red adults out there, will be taking a fly around the grounds of the famous Watermouth Castle on their very own stunt plane. Sounds awesome right, and as much as it truly is, it isn't even easy flying, with it amongst your first ever fly being a solo one, you will need to use that lever in front of you to both rise high above the clouds where the views are the most spectacular and then back low to the ground by the time the two and a half minute adventure comes to a complete touchdown. So no pressure. Number 4 Snail Trail If flying high in the sky is not so much for you and instead you'd rather ride really really close to the floor then look no further down than the snail level where this time you and up to one other explorer We'll be able to venture around some unbearably funny scenes in an actual snail. Did you see what I did there? Unbearably? Nevertheless, with all bearably bearable and totally embarrassing teddy bear puns aside, this may be a very short ride at definitely some snail like speeds, but where else can you ride a British classic at the same time as exploring the homes of all bears alike? Number 3 Big River Ride now I've got to admit I've never been on a jungle voyage before, nevertheless a big river ride is very different from what I, and I can only imagine you too, would expect from such as like, with from the moment you cram into that very small circle of dinghy, to get off again a lot wetter I'd like to add, you'll be slowly guiding and rotating around some calm waterways, lush trees and scenery, and oh yes, how could I forget banjo playing apes, talking tiki, singing ducks, water spraying bears, and somewhat some rather calm tigers, thus still leaving me undecided whether this is a little creepy or on the other hand some great family fun. Number 2 Cooking Pots What definitely is a little bit disturbing however is our number 2 spot, as in addition to actually spinning around and around and around in a burning cooking pot, Take a look at those faces staring down at you. Ooh, it gives me the shivers just talking about it. And if it is the same for you two, then do not fear, as this type of ride, bar of course the disturbing theming, can be found at almost every theme park across the world. So whether it is a quick glimpse of the faces as you spin around, or you're visiting on a busy day, our first sunset of a vid will be to complete the unique attractions first. Number 1 Thunder Lodge Toboggan after a phenomenal collection of many fun family rides, we have finally made it to our favourite one, the Toboggan Run. And I know that as soon as you make up a very long lift hill to begin your adventure, you'll very quickly realise why this is. Therefore, instead of talking about every great twist and turn that follows on from that, I am going to leave you one final tip, and that would be to ride your favourite attraction, whatever it is, first, as even though it's unlikely to get very long queues, the last thing you want is for it to break down. Thank you all for watching, bye bye.